There are a total of six legendary weapons you're able to pick from the world. And today I'm going to show you guys exactly where to get each of every one of them. You're going to be able to get the old bull. You're going to be able to get the pump shotgun, the assault rifle, the handgun, the crossbow, and the rocket launcher. I'm going to show you guys exactly where to get each and every one of them. I'm also going to show you guys the fastest and easiest method of actually farming them. In addition to that, we're going to go over their stats and talk about which one I believe is the best one to go ahead and obtain. With that being said, let's jump right into it. All right, so before I show you the locations, I do want to tell you guys what's the fastest way to actually do this. You're going to want to go to your world settings. In the world settings, you're going to want to change your daytime speed and your nighttime speed. This is just going to make the farm go a lot faster because some of these require for you to wait the nate the like a day life cycle to go through so you want to make sure you change this so it just speeds up that process of you guys being able to do that in addition to that guys I also recommend you take a look at what boss you're fighting and check what elements he's not good against and make sure you guys equip something accordingly or just have an op pal like i do and you guys should be perfectly fine what you see right now in this place all right to get the old boy we're gonna need to kill the king paka and you're gonna need to go to this uh small settlement location you could actually get this really early and this one that i recommend you pick up real quick because you could literally start farming this really really fast even when you're level 10 or 15 you could actually start farming this and do very well with it so that's a that's definitely a tip i want to give you all right so you're gonna want to start farming this as quickly as you possibly can because it does take some time to actually get it done once you're a higher level it's a lot easier to do because you have some pretty op builds but in the meantime you want to make sure that you uh you know you take them out really fast here all right, let's do that. We got that guy out of the way. Let's make sure our Tansy Ghost puts in the work. No, get off my boy. Don't be smacking my boy like that. Come on, Tansy. Put in the work, buddy. There you go. He's dead. All right, so let's see. Hopefully, we get it. This does take a couple tries, so hopefully, we're able to pick this up. Let's get my boy Tansy up in here, and let's see. We... No, so we didn't get it. All right, so like I said, when I got it, it took me multiple tries, guys. I spent almost all day trying to get this done uh, for you guys, but it does take a while to drop so just keep that in mind all right let's head on to the next location all right for this next location guys we're gonna go right here to the sealed realm and we're gonna be targeting bushy bushy's gonna be dropping the crossbow for us so we want to make sure uh you know we uh we get come prepared now guys this took me a whole day to actually farm so the drop rate on this i don't know if the drop rate is determined by the level you're in uh but i know some people have been able to also find this in golden chest and the red aura chest so if you are able to get these like right off the bat always make sure you guys check out the chest and usually like dungeons seem to be the ones that drop them more frequently but you really want to have an op character to actually do that that's why you guys should definitely check out my breathing video where i go over like what are the best ways to actually breathe uh pals here all right let's look at my my boy my boy tansy putting in the work let's go my boy get over here man Hopefully we get lucky. I'm going to have a build for my boy Tansy. So you guys definitely check him out. How he's able to do so much damage. He's OP, man. That's heck. All right. All right. Did we get the drop? Come on. Did we get the drop? All right. So we got some ink knock. Uh, this could be it. Oh, we got bone. Boo. All right. On to the next episode. Let's get it. All right. So now to get the handgun schematic, guys. For the handgun schematic, you're going to have to go to the deep bamboo. And you're going to head over to kill Beacon. All right. So we already killed him. But we're going to go ahead and just come this time around. We're going to try to take him out as quickly as we possibly can here. Let's go. Where is this at? It's got to go this way. Uh, yep. All right. We're just going to go here fast. Man, my, my boy. Dude, I'm so glad I got this mount. And uh, I breeded it because it makes getting to these areas so much easier. All right. Let me see. My boy Tansy. Is he still on cooldown? Uh, all right. Now he's actually pretty good. Nope. Come on here, Tansy. I think I goofed up here. I think I pressed the, uh, uh, come on, Tansy. Yeah, I think I messed up here. Even though I'm going to do pretty much work with my AR, we should be good here. Tansy put in that last shot. Let's go, Tansy. All right, did this guy give me the drops? Where did it go? Please don't tell me this thing glitched out. Where are the drops here? I don't see the drops, boys. Do you guys see? Oh, there he is. Okay, it's just like down here. Come on. No, did the drops glitched? Oh, come on, bro. Stop shooting me. I think the drops actually glitched, man. I don't see the drops anywhere. Dang it, man. All right, so, the, I mean, it could happen, boys. So you just got to be careful, okay? Uh, Let's get back in here, and we should be good here. Let's see if I can just kind of fly around here. And see if I see the drops, anything up here in the air. Okay, so the drops glitched on this one, so that's unfortunate. 
Uh, so we just got to keep trying to see if we can get the, uh, you know, get those drops to drop here. So now we are towards the pump shotgun. And in order for you guys to do that, you're going to have to go to here to the Dun Shelter. And you're going to have to kill Sasaku. He's a level 45 character. So this is one that you probably want to take a little bit longer to actually kind of obtain. No, not him. We come back here. We get you here. And he is going to be located straight ahead, I think. Yep. All right, let's go this way. Ooh -wee. Like I said, man, I'm so glad I upgraded this mount, man. Ooh, such a lifesaver. It's just like the speed. All right, let's see. There he is. Let's get out of here. Bring him back. Put my boy Tansy. Let's shoot this dude real quick. I right, have my Tansy put in the work. Yeah, get him, boy. Get him. Boy, didn't even stand a chance. All right, man, let's see. Can we get the actual drop? Could this be the one? Could this be the one? No, we did not get it. All right, now on to the next episode. All right, guys, so for this next one, guys, we're going to have to fast travel to the foot of the volcano, and we got to kill this guy right here, the Blasma. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to grab this, put this guy out. And this one I already got. Uh, you guys saw the video I put out earlier uh, yesterday on the assault rifle. This was one of the first ones I actually was able to get. This one was the easiest one to get done, to be honest. Uh, it's the one with the least tries. The other ones have taken a while. I mean, I spent like a whole day and a half trying to get all these uh, ready for you guys. I didn't want to make the video without me actually getting them. Uh, but we were able to get every one of them. Now, right now, we're currently working on the armor sets. So that's what we're working on right now. The only thing annoying about this is this big, long walk that you have to get to get them to him. So I would suggest just, you know, jumping in the air and gliding. It does help out a lot to uh, you know get there a lot quicker. Or grappling hook. All right. So let's get our boy Tansy up in here. All right. Let's shoot this guy real quick and have this boy put in the work. Let's go. Let me hit that reload real quick here. Take this guy out. Ah. Yeah, this, this one's a little bit more tanky. You do want to come with a character that's able to do a lot of work on him. Um, you know, something that's really good against fire. Like, to me, it doesn't really matter because right now I have, like, pretty OP Tansy and a pretty OP build already. And, you know, these guys are pretty powerful already, so. And he should be dead. Let's see if we get a drop again. Uh, what do we get? All right, we got coal. And we got no, no drop this time around. I always like to open this, this chest, so... Do keep in mind. There you go. Assault rifle schematic. Let's go. Let's go. But it's a green one, unfortunately. Uh, it's not a legendary. Sometimes the chests do drop them, though. So do keep that in mind. All right. For this last one, guys, it's the rocket launcher. Now, for the rocket launcher, you're going to have to go to the ruined fortress. And you actually have to ki kill the jet dragon. Okay. All uh, right. This is the character that I'm currently rolling with. Now, this one's a little bit more tasking because he is a level 50 boss. And he is pretty tanky. So you want to make sure uh, you come prepared. And the thing that works really good against him is anything that has to do with, uh, you know, frost damage. So if you guys want to, uh, you know, be able to uh, to get kill him real quick, you want to come in with that frost damage here so you guys can take him out. Um, this is the one that I still haven't been able to get to drop. Uh, it's been like the hardest one in the sense of drop rate is concerned. I know some people have gotten the rocket launcher, so it is one of those. But to me, it's been like one of the most difficult ones to actually obtained due to the fact that uh you know it just takes a little bit longer to kill him and you have to come prepared and the drop rate seems to be a little bit uh, all right so he's gonna be like located like right here somewhere there he is all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop down here and we're gonna switch like uh, uh, let's get this guy going here all right here we go and he's gonna be right here come over here boy don't run away from me. So the thing that works really good against him is ice. He's like really, really uh, bad against ice. So I like to pick my boy. He went over there just to uh, cause some havoc here. All right. And we got to keep an eye on our on our pal too as well. Usually, you know, the fight never ends up this way, but he's got to come and try to take him out. All right. That's what I love about the ice though. You're able to freeze him, which is really good. Okay. Let's go here. My boy hitting him from the back. All right. He's putting in the work. All right. Take him out there. Let's go. You don't want to mess with my boy. Oh, dude, no way. The rock actually messed me up right there. 
freeze him, boy. There we go. All right. We almost we have him half health right here. All right, let's switch over to the crossbow. You know, I should have brought some fire elemental damage with the crossbow here. All right, here we go. Oh, he got stuck in the tree. This actually helped us out a lot. Let's hit him with the with the pump shotty here. Pump shotty putting in the work. Let's go. Oh, I'm out of bullets with the shotty thing. I need more shotty bullets here. All right, and he should almost be dead now. I'm so glad he actually got frozen right here in this tree, bro. This is actually pretty OP. Hey! Look, I say something and he throws fire at me. Ah! We almost have him, man. Because this be the one where we get the rocket launcher? Because this be the one. Ooh, he, almost, he, ooh, he blew all my shield, bro. Get that reload. I mean, I could try to capture him. You know, let's let's try to capture him. That way we could kind of see that works. Oh, come on. Could this it be it? Nope. I'm going to try to capture him again. Now he died. Dang it. All right. Let's see. Let's see, man. Did this give us a drop? Could this be the rocket launcher drop? Come on. Dang it, man. All right. <laughs> so we're just going to have to keep going. Yeah, this is the one I only haven't been able to get to drop. So we're going to have to keep going on it. But now it's time for us to go check out the stats. All right, fellas. So let's go ahead and check out the stats. We're going to start off from the first one we got, which is the old bow. And this one does a 247 attack. Uh, durability, 350. So not that bad. A really good one to get early. I would recommend you definitely farm this one to you know help you get uh, like progress throughout the game. Because you want to get the hardest hitting thing just to get things done a little bit faster. The next one we got, which the crossbow we got from Banji. This one does 490 attack damage, and it has a durability of 700. So pretty good, pretty stable. Uh, the next one we got was the handgun, and the handgun, uh, we got it from the bird. It comes with a durability of 1,200 with an attack of 625. So this is actually hits really, really hard. The only problem with this one is the reload speed. It does take a little bit longer to reload, and it's just going to be about you get like you know you landing your shots. But apart from that, you should be pretty much set. The next one we got was the assault rifle. Comes with a durability of 3,000, attack of 560. Uh, so I think personally, the handgun right now seems to be the one that's hitting the hardest as far as like major weapons are concerned. Uh, it, but you have to factor in the, the amount of shots the uh, assault rifle actually outputs if it's equivalent to, you know, within the time frame that you're able to do the handgun shots. So I'm going to say assault rifle and handgun seem to be right now the pretty hard hitting ones. And last but not least, we got the pump action shotgun. This one we got from Sakuru comes with a durability of 400 and the rocket launcher, which I currently don't have, does 140,000 damage. So that one's actually pretty hard hitting uh, and the one that hits the hardest out of all of them. But, you know, you do have the problem when it comes to ammo uh, economy there. Uh, as part from that, the ones I would recommend like you get like right now, I would definitely if you're starting. Old Bow would be my, my number one recommendation. And then I would just try to farm the handgun just because it hits really, really hard. I think those are like the kind of like the best options that we have right now. I do want to re re reiterate that don't forget that the chests do tend to drop these sometimes. So always make sure you guys open those gold chests and have those keys to be able to obtain any of this to actually drop from you guys. I will have a video going over the gear. So you probably want to click on this video that's appearing right now on the screen. And also don't forget to check out my amazing breathing guide. That's going to help you get OP characters like the ones you saw on display right now. I hope you guys are enjoying our content. If you are, do me a huge favor, guys. Drop a comment, drop a like. But most importantly, subscribe to the channel. Turn on those notifications so you guys won't miss when our videos go live. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next video.